Yo, 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 what is up YouTube? Here we are. It is the day before the Vivid Voltage launch. And it is Thursday, so a lot of the card places at Walmart or MJ Holden, they restock. Usually on Thursdays, they have from Thursday to Saturday. And here we are at Walmart. We're looking for some Vivid Voltage ETBs. We're looking for booster packs. We're looking for that Charizard deck. We're looking for building battle kits. Anything we can get our hands on will make me extremely happy. So, guys, let's go inside. Let's see what they have. Whether they do or don't have it, we may have to hit some other stores. Let's find out. Let's go. All right, my Poker family, here we are by the cards. Let me flip you all around. And here we are. So this is a fantastic sign that since we see cards, sports cards that is, that means they were just here and not too many scalpers have gotten to them because I'm sure you guys know you never see sports cards. That's a huge indicating factor. We got some new Yu-Gi-Oh! that I've been doing some research on lately. I know this is a new set. Kind of bummed out they're $30 for four packs. So we'll probably pass on that for now just because I'm going to get my Pokemon releases first. But um, I know I've been talking about doing some Yu-Gi-Oh! I think it's pretty cool. And here we are. Let's get the, the wide view here. There's Cassie. <laughs> and as you can see, look at all these boxes down here. Got the Galarian Surfetch. And check out these that they have in here, guys. These are usually always a buy on site with the two Unbroken Bonds. You got the Evolutions and then, you know, the Lost Thunder, whatever. That's whatever. But this box is fantastic value, even at 20 bucks. And what we are here for, folks, was some Vivid Voltage the one day before release. So we have a bunch of these three-pack blisters with that cool... Oh, poor Sable. It's okay, buddy. Don't cry. That cool promo. It's kind of sad promo. I feel... I'm sorry, Sable. And, bam, here we go. We got some booster packs. We got a lot of the, the booster blisters. Look at that. Look at that. And, let's see. Let's just go ahead and uh, go with these right here, folks. Um... So next we're going to go stop at Target, see if we can find anything there, and i uh, going to bring you guys along with me. Particularly I'm looking for an ETB, which they do not have here, nothing else. I have a feeling that a lot of people already got to this, but since uh, Vol Vivid Voltage is just a standard regular set, maybe people aren't trying to buy everything and scalp it, which is cool. I'm happy I was able to find some, but I really want the ETB so I can start setting up my master set and get that checklist and uh, yeah go through the box see what kind of uh sleeves it has so let's go to target folks here we are guys back at the poke lab we have our vivid voltage sleeve boosters look at them we got 12 of these bad boys we're gonna run through these real quick got a little bit of each pack artwork bunch of celebes a uh, bunch of the celebes were out of place in the Yu-Gi-Oh pokemon and shout out to real breaking nate they're out of place so i had to pick it up just because it's a fun game to play who knows maybe the cardstock person had my luck had my back for me Let's get that fat Pikachu. Let's get that Pikachu VMAX. Let's get that Pikachu full art. Dude, I am so excited to get into this, guys. Let's get over to the break bench. Let me flip y'all around real quick. All right, and here we are. Look at... Oh, man, what a mess. Just throwing packs at a freaking EX Deoxys pack. What is wrong with me? Pokemon Collector Party Foul. Gosh dang man. Sorry, Charizards. Alright, let's get this. Let's get let's get moving. Let's get cracking. Here we are. Let me gather all these back up over here. Get them in a nice organized pile or a nice organized fashion. And here we go. Let's start it off with the boy, our man, Pikachu. We love you. You already know. So we're gonna run through 12 real quick, guys. We are beginning the my vivid voltage master set. Here we go. I'm so excited, been waiting for this. Luckily, I was actually able to find most of these between Walmart. Um, we were just out and about, actually in a city like 40 minutes away, and we just happened to look out. Ooh, man, what is up with these? You guys see these right out the gate? Ooh, I'm looking a little beat up there, but let's see what we get, guys. Go right into a psychic energy. Look at that aromatic energy, that's new. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides a grass energy. The grass energy this card is attached to recovers from all special conditions and can't be affected by any special conditions. Yo, that's like a game changer for a grass deck. That's crazy. Alright, we have Mightyena, Pinchurchin, Blitzel, the Kiddo Skiddo, Ferrisseed, 
Oh, look at that, the Denny. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, do we have a drill bird? We have a Clefable Reverse Hollow Rare and a Whimsicott. All right, there we go. Whimsicott, non hollow rare. Put that there, and let's get right into one of these Celebi packs. We're not getting in. It's not Celebi. Or it's not Cella A. Celebi. Code card for you, ladies and gentlemen, because anyway, I can give back to you guys for following me and hanging out here in the Poke Lab. It is my honor and pleasure to do so. So try to be kind. Only take one code. Leave some for the other folks so everybody can get, get a little Vivid Voltage Booster packs in their TCGO decks and build so we could all battle and have fun in this party. There we go. A Zarude V. Let's see how this one looks because some of those other cards are looking trashy. There we go. Looking okay. So we have our first Ultra Rare Pull from Vivid Voltage. How exciting. And we also, is this a Lycan Rock, another Reverse Hollow Rare. So that's good too. Start knocking those out. Let's go. Where are my card sleeves? I repeat, where are my card sleeves? Gosh, I do this to myself every time. I just get so excited to open that I just do not bring the sleeves. So I'm opening cards everywhere in my house. In the front room, in the kitchen, in the car, at the breaking bench. Just opening cards everywhere all the time. That's all right, guys. I'm going to sleeve this up as soon as this video is done. I promise. I do not treat my cards like that. I sleeve everything all the way down to my reverse hollows. I even sleeve just the standard rares, the ones that I actually put in my binder. And then eventually I stop. But every reverse hollow gets a sleeve in my collection. So you never know down the road what reverse hollows are going to be desirable. Be a be a while you act that like a, like a giraffe rig, Voltorb, Weedle Dreedle. Drillmer, Clefairy, Clefairy, Whalmer, Shepet, the Puppet, Reverse Hollow, and a Vaporeon. Nice, dude. I can dig it, but I'm feeling these cards in my hands, and man, these things are rough. You see these? I can feel them just all gosh. Look at that. Look how many are like pretty chopped up in my packs here. All right, let's go to the Zerud in, uh, in honor of the Zerud V Ultra Rare Pull that graced his presence in our opening to be my first ever Vivid Voltage Ultra Rare Pole. Zarud. Or, well, now it's actually... Oh, no, I just did that. I just did... You know what? Let's just run right through this one, guys. We have a Pinturchin and an Creamy regular hit. Look at the Loudrin. That's funny. Memory Capsule. Remember that. All right, next up, we have a Pikachu. You know we love you here in the Poke Lab. I'm the Odd Oddish, our boy. And, uh, the all-time favorite, but really, it's another not Celebi, not Cella A. Wait, it is Celebi. Dang it, I keep messing that up. I'll get that one of these times, guys. Just wait. Stay tuned. Here's a code card for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have one, two, three, four to the front. We're going right into another Metal Energy Moo Moo Cheese. Ooh, it's got to be good. Do I... Uh, Tynamo, Execute, Chitat, Clobopus, Doctopus, the Kiddo Skiddo, another BT, and a Zekrom, Hollow Hit, there we go, look at that, with that vertical hollow pattern that Sword and Shield delivers to us, alright guys, so here's that stack of Celebi that I just happened to grab that actually was in the Yu-Gi-Oh collection, and for some reason they're all Celebi, so let's see if it was lucky, and just, you know, for fun, shout out to shout out to our boy Nate. Real breaking. He breaks some real things. It was out of place, so I just had to get it. It was just calling me. I just had to do it. I could not contain myself. Grass Energy, Ferrothorn, Go Goat, the Goat Goat, Careless, Execute, Eevee, Woobat, Ericuda, C Dot, Slugma, Reverse Hollow Coming and A. Lucario, non hollow rare. Alright. I mean, I guess, I guess we do need it. At least when you begin opening a set, you know, every card you pull when you're building a master set for the first time is a decent hit. Even just the non hollow rares. Now, like if you do Darkness Blaze and you order hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bonus blisters, well then, that's a different story. And the cards begin to not be as, uh, the regular rares begin to not be as, ev uh, as eventful. 
If I can say that one times fast. Execute, whooper, reverse, hollow, and another whimsicata. Here we go. We are already pulling doubles. Man, this card just seems extra glossy compared to the rest of them. Let's check this cut. Yeah, again, man. What is up? I don't even want to put any of these commons in my binder. Look how crappy those are, dude. Pokemon, what's up, dude? I don't even want to put any of those in my binder for my master set, man. Seriously. Trash, trashy cards. Almost excuse my language. I mean, I got... I, I, None of the rares or the hollows are cut like that, thankfully. Um, I hope that they wouldn't let those go by. Have another Burning Shadows on our hands, but... Man, dude, just look at all these. What is up? It's more, it's like it's the... No, it's the commons and uncommons. Hit Moan Top. That's cool, dude. I'm glad they got a Hit Moan Top in here, Macargo. I wish it would have been like a V or something. Mudbray, Poochiana, Charmander. Look at that beautiful Charmander. I love it. Shit's hot. Joltik. Rocky Helmet. And a Whale Lord. Hollow Hit. There we go. Our third Hollow Hit. Out of eight packs. Going into another. Not Sella A. Not Sella C. But a Sella B. I freaking did it. Yay. I said it one time. <laughs> My little teeny tiny joke I was trying to come up with on the fly. Finally worked out for me. Woo. Whoa, Nelly. Going right into an electric energy. The GOAT. Wyndham Stadium. Matang. It's a kick in a glass. A fan fee. A dust gall. Electric. Riding a bike. No, I'm just kidding. Pinecone. Mudbray. Playing. Taylo and an electrode. Okay. That's cool, dude. Bringing the electrode back into a hollow. Nice, dude. Electric ball. 100. Hit 100. Once during the turn of this Pokemon is on your bench, you may search your deck for up to two electric energy cards and attach them to your electric Pokemon any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. If you search your deck in this way, this Pokemon is knocked out. Ooh, that burns, man. Okay, it sounded a little better at first. Um, I thought I had to read it because the deck that I play is actually a Grimmsnarl deck in my main... Uh, supporting card in there is that Hydrogen, 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 Hydro, whatever. The three-headed dragon, and you can uh, attach as many dark energies to your Pokemon, however you like, but they have to already be in your hand. And that's how I accelerate my uh, Grim Snarl and just do 200 damage back to back to back to back to back, even though you have to discard two energy when you use that attack. Oshawott and a Manetric, okay. And guys, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you guys to join the pokey, the odd oddish, and just join the conversation. I do openings like this every day, and would just love for you guys to join me and the rest of the Pokemon community. I am new to here, new to YouTube, and the support you guys have been giving me is overwhelming, and I am truly thankful and appreciate you guys. We are over 200 subscribers already in like one month. It's an amazing thing, and I truly appreciate it, guys. Just the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Now, back out of the sentimental moments, and let's get back to ripping. We got a Galarian Darmanitan V, another ultra rare hit, and we are already down to one pack. We have not pulled anything with any kind of texture, which is kind of saddening, because, well, it's like $50 worth of packs here, and just one card would have been nice, but it is what it is, guys. You know what I say. You can't win if you don't play. Apparently, those Pokemon cards that were out of place were no luck to me. But we are down to this last pack, so let's find out. Fire Energy, Carolus, Dusclops, Electric, Shuppet the Puppet, Ferrisseed, Joltic, Sandow, C Dot, Flareon, Reverse Hollow. I can dig that. And a freaking Grappalocked. I don't really like that Pokemon no more, thanks to uh, Champion's Path. But guys, let's go over the hits we did get here, in my opinion. Gosh, without the sleeves, but they are just all regular hollows. So I have a feeling I'll be pulling a lot of these, a lot more of these as time goes on. We have an Electrode Hollow, a Waylord Hollow, a Flareon Reverse Hollow. I like that. Probably one of my favorite cards. We have a Glaring Darmanitan V. We have a Zerud V. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. And we have a Zekrom Hollow. So honestly, out of 12 packs, it's you know almost. Uh, you know, half the packs were hits, and we did get quite a few uh, reverse hollow rares here. Uh, let's see, we got the Flareon, which is one. Okay, and then we got a Lycanroc, 
reverse hollow rare and a cliff fable reverse hollow rare so there you have it folks thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out here in the poke lab with your boy nick and nick i sincerely and truly appreciate it and again guys if you are new to the channel or returning and haven't yet please subscribe do openings like this every day and if you guys could on the way out please leave a thumbs up just because it's easy to do and i'll sincerely appreciate it appreciate it oh my can i talk today appreciate it guys and thank you for all the comments you guys leave and i just want to say again i read all the comments guys thank you for the comments i love the conversation if i don't get your get to your comment right away i am and i am working on it i'm i read every single one and respond to every single comment so i'd love to hear what you guys have to say have you gotten any vivid voltage yet have you got some etbs have you got some packs have you got some collector's chests have you got some charizard theme decks let me know guys whatever you were able to find or your lack thereof being able to find because I imagine it's going to be a popular set. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. This is Nick at Nick signing out. Zarud, let's close him out. Later, y'all. Catch y'all next time.